One of the most basic tasks in digital filmmaking is moving your media from your camera to your laptop. So in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at doing this with the range of devices we have. And as time goes on, there's more and more things that can make video. So I don't know exactly what you're going to be using, but I hope that we'll be able to give you a little bit of confidence to be able to do it for yourself. Um, so we have a, a range of different cameras here. We've got this um, Sony Handycam. Uh, we've got a Panasonic stills camera. And we have an iPod and we're going to have a go at moving media onto these two laptops here. This particular camcorder comes with its own um, specialist cable. It's very easy because it just plugs in down like this on the bottom of the camera. And there's only one way it can fit, so you don't have to worry about breaking anything. And it's got a USB cable, a very common type of cable, and that just plugs straight into the side of my computer here. And then I need to check that the camera's ready to go switch it on again and it gives me a little bit of a dialogue here and I choose the computer option. So normally this dialogue box opens um, but I prefer to close that down and I just use my own um, favorite software and control the camera from inside that. And I can just drag and drop the files across, it's all very simple. So next up we're going to look at this iPod and I'm going to connect it to the Macintosh over there. So the iPod comes with its own special cable and it fits in this side here like this. And if you're ever in doubt, just have a look at the manual that came with the device because there's usually a diagram illustrating this. The other end is a USB, just like last time. There's the USB symbol. And it plugs into the side of the Macintosh here. So here we are in Final Cut Pro. I just import the files and because they're there in iTunes, I can find the iTunes movies and I select the one I want. And then lastly, some devices come without a cable. Um, this one here has an SD card. You just pop that out. And my laptop has an SD card reader here on the side. Sometimes it's a standalone device. And push that in. And little dialogues popped up on my screen, and I'm going to choose the editing software I want for that. So we've covered a few different kinds of camera. Um, we've looked at two different kinds of laptop. We could have looked at many other kinds of camera, like mini DV, firewire cables, and so on. And there'll be many more along in the market before long. The key thing is to understand how your camera fits to your laptop. Um, they are designed to work together. If you're still stuck, get online, search on the name of your camera, and you'll find plenty of help files, plenty of forums where you can even post a query and get some help getting connected. The key thing to remember is give yourself a practice run. Hook your camera up to your computer, try moving a couple of files across, and you'll be fine when you go live on a real project.